And, oh, I've done quite a lot since last time. Uh, sorry about that. I was going to wait and then just show you guys what I've done. But yeah, it's just a, just a temptation. I have to keep going and just end up doing everything. Uh, as I promised before, I have changed the skin a little bit. So you have some bits in white showing up. So it's not as boring as before, just pure brown. Uh, and you can see that I have painted. Um, I uh, dry brushed the silver one to actually make it more bright. And I have done the gold. So that after the bronze color, which is here now, there is a, a medium gold and then a dry brush of gold. You can see the dry brush a lot stronger in here because I've deliberately done it a bit stronger on this one. And these are a little bit weaker. So you can see that it's a lot more yellow, but it's still very good. Sorry about that. And you can see, yep, a bit stronger dry brush of gold here and here, and a bit weaker on the arm and stuff. Partly because um, there was lack of room to actually do some of the smaller one. Because if you dry brush, you use a big brush, and it, well, it's not a big brush, it's a tiny brush, and keep on rubbing against it to actually uh, deposit the, the paint. So yeah. I might have to do a very, very pale um, brown wash on all of them to actually uh, bring some of the detail back in because I think the dry brush might be a little bit too strong. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you notice that I haven't painted this belt because um, I realized um, that might not be a normal belt. Uh, and I've asked someone and someone has told me that that is actually used to hold all the chain mail together. And it's usually made out of a leather back metal. So I my assumption is correct. It's supposed to be leather and metal. Uh, it's going to have a leather edge on the outside and a piece of metal in the middle and with a raised edge right on this metal edge right on the edge. And with studs on it. And we reckon that this one is probably is a leather pouch with a piece of metal decoration on it. And those two are probably decorated plate like the rest of the runes and pauldrons. And so it's those three. And I'm still keeping the gold, silver, and bronze. I still think that is a nice thought. Uh, one thing I've changed is the hair. You'll notice that the um, hair is actually a lot brighter. Uh, after I've done all of the gold and stuff, I still find that the hair is actually way too like the rest of the... Um, of the gold so I thought solid is going to be a stronger orange so I have uh, brushed all of them over with a very thin down orange and let them sip into the cracks and loose crannies and then a, a very, very pale wash of brown just to put the color back in so it, as a result the hair are a lot brighter and a lot more prominent and the feel of the fire giants coming back. And hopefully, now that um, almost everything on him is done now, the only thing left is this belt and this sword. Hopefully, by painting up the sword, it's going to improve it a bit further. So yeah, join me in a bit. And, ha, ah, yeah, sorry about that. Once again, I jump ahead quite a bit. Last time I said that I'm going to finish off with the... Um, with the main body and started on the sword. What I have done is I have finished the body, doing all the detail, started on the sword and finished on the sword. Yeah, sorry about that. I was going to just break them down into two di different um, video. Well, two different um, shop bits so they can actually see it progressively happening. But yeah, this sort of thing, I, I just find um, miniature really, really nice in the sense that you can actually do so much in one day because this, the object is small, the paint you're using is hand paint, and the paints dry almost within minutes of application. So you can actually go doing everything within the day. If you actually have the time, you can paint the whole thing within a day. You know what? This is the Caramel uh, Ga Guardian Dragon. It's a metal, it's a metal model, uh, also by Reaper. And I did this guy within the weekend. I painted the whole thing from top to bottom and and completed all of those painting uh, of figures. Basically, 
did the um, well actually three days. The first day was um, putting him together, uh, filling all of the gaps. Next day I okay four days. But yeah, but yeah, after doing all the preparation, one day to actually spray the whole whole kit, uh, the whole figure in black, so that I could actually start working on it because I always like a black uh, matte paint as a test as a as a texture effect and also as a gripping point for the for all the paint, not even just a primer. It's literally a gripping point. And then yeah, and then over the weekend for two days, I just go mad through it. I managed to have a whole weekend of doing nothing and painted the whole whole thing up. Completely finished, including the eye, including the teeth, including the tongue, all of the bone detail, all of the wing details, all of those are done. The only thing that that was left after that was the base. And the base only took me it was about two days. Mainly for one day because I put uh, the putty all around it and wait for it to dry. And then the next day paint it up, leave it for about five minutes to dry, and then do put all of the um all the grass on it. Put the rocks on it, stuck all of them together. Next day morning, completely done. So yeah, a real really like miniature in this sort of sense. But back to this guy. But yeah, uh, let's see what to talk about. Oh yeah, the bells here. I did uh, requ- uh, ask people for suggestion ex- as to what it is, and I have the answer, and I've done all of those. Um, people suggest this is the leather pouch, so I have made a leather pouch with metal plate on it. Uh, let's see, those metal, the metal piece is actually now added. Now that all of goes in the middle is done, really like it. Uh, unfortunately, I've toned down the hair. I actually put a lot of orange on it to actually make it brighter, and then it just lost all the detail. It the hair just become one big lump of orange, so I have to um, wash it back down with some with some uh, dark brown. And now it's a bit too dark, but it's good enough. Before I was using the hair as the only way to indicating that is a fire giant, but now the sword is doing the representation now. Yeah, so I think it's it's fine. Uh, the ruby, the ruby at the tip of the hilt is just uh, silver and clear red. Uh, let's see. I also. Did that onto the onto the side of the pouch, just to add some color, and one dot on the back, again to add some color. Come on, focus, focus. There you go. But back to the sword. The sword was originally black. Uh, painted it with a uh, wear washed down amount of uh, bolt gun metal, i.e., a gun metal color. Dry brush, uh, not dry brush, uh, a very, very dark wash of black. Just and then to, to just to tone it down basically, because the even the gun metal was too bright. All of the scratch up detail, uh, I start off with um, spraying all of along those edges, or along all of those scratches with a with a red, and then move on to orange. And then once that is done, I realize that I'm a bit too ambitious this time around. I I was trying to make the crack become the center focal point of all the, all the. Um, of a shininess, but it means that um, the next two color, the yellow and white, need to go into those tiny, tiny little crack. So I end up actually wash all of those paints, thin those paints down to minimal, and then take a tiny, tiny little brush. In fact, I actually use a um, use a toothpick as well to have to drip some of those paints in, because they were thin. It took me ages to actually um, put all of those in. Is it gonna focus? Yeah. But yeah, after the yellow and a little bit of white, it does look pretty good. It does look like glowing. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So the figure itself is basically done. The only thing left now is the base. Okay. At the end of the day, this is more or less it uh, for the time being, um, because uh, at the moment I have just based it onto a piece of metal. And I have cut the excess off, stick them back on on each side, and then fill the rest of them with uh, milliput. So these are all still a little bit sticky, a little bit, a little bit solid. Uh, it's not solid yet. Actually, it's still 
bit tacky and spongy and I'm waiting for them to dry uh, once they're all dried I'm gonna paint them all over in black and uh, start painting them up to make them look a bit like gravel or even a little bit like um, lava at a certain point depend when I when I get to it I'll think about it uh, if it's lava then it will fit the the fire theme a lot better but yeah this is all for or it for um for the fire giant bodyguard so I'm thinking about what I should do next I'm thinking about uh, maybe this one uh, this is the fire giant queen I got this when I was getting this one so this one might be good because it's fire giant as well right or or I could do the griffin I like griffin uh, griffin stone griffin stone yeah some of you get the griffin some of you don't uh, yeah after all I like a uh, mythical creature especially flying creature so griffin would be interesting how about this one how about a fire giant uh, strong scroll which I think is actually um, iron scroll I think is actually king of the um, of the fire giant so I think he's actually the king and that's a queen so that would be a good pair yeah that would be good as well but what about fire giant warrior yeah uh, fire giant warrior a bit more similar to the fire giant uh, more more of the same sort of status same sort of type a little bit bigger the box for some reason yeah I'm not quite sure why the box is actually bigger I mean the figure is about the same size and shape as um, iron skull so yeah I'm not quite sure but you know what maybe I should go for dragon again since I'm playing a dragon how about the famo yeah the famo is nice zombie dragon and dying dragon yeah I broke him out before I have a look at it pretty nice yeah nine and a, nine and three quarter inch tall seven inch wide yeah a big kit and looks really really nice yeah you know what someone need to stop me this is the second month since I actually heard about Reaper yeah someone need to stop me at some point 